Welcome to lesson 7 of how to understand 85% of Qur'anic vocabulary series. After having discussed the majority of the regular verb forms from measures 2 to 8, this lesson will be about the last regular set of verbs that belong to measures number 9 and number 10. And before we get started, let me remind you that before studying this list, you should familiarize yourself with the patterns of measures 9 and 10 so that studying this list would be more effective and fruitful, inshallah. So, let's get started. And we'll start with the verbs that belong to measure number 9. Measure number 9 has the pattern of ifalla, which is one of the easier measures since it only has four variations. And as it happens, it is a pretty rare measure in normal Arabic use as well. And in the Qur'an, it was only used with three verbs. And this measure is mainly used when turning names of colors into verbs. And the first verb is iswadda, which means to become black. So this verb here means that the original name of the color is Aswad, which is then black. And to turn it into a verb, we apply the measure ifalla to the word, so then it becomes iswadda, which is to become black. And we see it used in the Quran in this ayah. يَوْمَ تَبِيَضُّ وُجُوهُ وَتَسْوَدُّ وُجُوهُ فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ اسْوَدَّتْ وُجُوهُهُمْ أَكَفَرْتُمْ بَعْدَ إِيمَانِكُمْ فَذُوقُوا فَذُوقُوا الْعَذَابَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْفُرُونَ The next verb is إِبِيَضَّ which means to become white. And we see it used in the following example. وَتَوَلَّا عَنْهُمْ وَقَالَ يَا أَسَفَا عَلَى يُوسُفُ وَبِيَضَّتْ عَيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْحُزْنِ فَهُوَ كَظِيمُ And the last verb that belongs to this measure is إِخْضَرَّ which means to become green. And this verb was used only one time in the Qur'an, and it was used in this example. أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ أَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَتُصْبِحُ الْأَرْضُ مُخْضَرَّةً Moving on to the final measure, which is measure number 10. This measure uses the pattern istafala. And the first verb is istajala, which means to be impatient or to urge impatiently. And we see it used in this example. قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ أَتَاكُمْ عَذَابُهُ بَيَاتًا أَوْ نَهَارًا مَاذَا يَسْتَعْجِلُ مِنْهُ الْمُجِرِمُونَ One more example. قُلْ لَوْ أَنَّ عِنْدِي مَا تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ بِهِ لَقُضِيَ الْأَمْرُ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ أَعْلَمُ بِالظَّالِمِينَ Next is إِسْتَغْفَرَ which means to seek forgiveness. And if you want to learn more about the deeper meaning of the word istaghfara, 
and how to do it properly, you can check out this lesson, it is quite useful. And we see the word istaghfara, with this meaning in the following example. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَأَنْتَ فِيهِمْ وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ Next is إِسْتَكْبَرَ which means to be arrogant. Like in this example. وَالَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَاسْتَكْبَرُوا عَنْهَا أُولَٰئِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ The next verb is إِسْتَهْزَأَ Which means to mock or to ridicule. And we see it used in this example. وَلَقَدِ اسْتُهْزِئَ بِرُسُلٍ مِّن قَبْلِكَ فَحَاقَ بِالَّذِينَ سَخِرُوا مِنْهُمْ فَحَاقَ بِالَّذِينَ سَخِرُوا مِنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَهْزِئُونَ Next is إِسْتَجَابَ which means to respond or to accept. We see it used in the following examples. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اسْتَجِيبُوا لِلَّهِ وَلِلرَّسُولِ إِذَا دَعَاكُمْ لِمَا يُحْيِيكُمْ Next example. إنما يستجيب الذين يسمعون والموتى يبعثهم الله ثم إليه يرجعون Next is استطاع which means to be able to we see it used in the following example. وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَمَسَخْنَاهُمْ عَلَى مَكَانَتِهِمْ فَمَا اسْتَطَاعُوا فَمَا اسْتَطَاعُوا مُضِيًّا وَلَا يَرْجِعُونَ and finally is the verb istaqama, which means to be on the right path. We see it used in these examples. Ihdina sirat al mustaqim. Inna alladina qalu rab. And finally, don't forget to check out the description for the PDF file of this lesson as well as the printable version for the same list. And while you're there, don't forget to check out the link for the Memorize page which will help you learn this list and many other lists through many quizzes and many other types of questions. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in Lesson 8.